Today, we're going to set the stroke on a BP60C rivet nut tool. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the anvil on the tool is set at the closest position to the nose assembly as possible, exposing the most amount of threads on the mandrel. Okay, to do that, of course, we want to take our spanner and loosen the lock nut. In this case, it was already in a low position, but just to show you, I want to get it to the lowest position there. Then take the spanner, lock the mandrel, lock the, uh, put the lock nut in place, and go on to the next step. Second, on the top of the tool, you'll notice that there are indicators. This BP60C has seven millimeters of stroke. The gauge shows exactly the amount of stroke that the tool is set for. Ideally, you look at a rivet nut in a particular application, the collapse wall can require anywhere from one millimeter to, to seven millimeters of stroke. In this case, the average is, uh, you know, the average insert that or commonly used insert might uh, use one millimeter or two millimeters of stroke. So what we'll do is we'll plug the tool in to the air source and see what stroke we have. By pulling the tool all the way back, we can see the, the stroke on the tool. It's about three millimeters now. If we wanted to adjust upward or downward, we would take a spanner and put it into the adjustment groove here. And we could adjust the tool either positively or back down negative to, the, to zero stroke. Okay, so let's try an insert now. On this BP60C, you just press the insert onto the nose assembly, pull the insert, and it releases back out. In this case, it looks like we have a near perfect set. Let's try one in the actual workpiece. We'll spin it onto the tool, set the insert, and there you have it. Perfectly set insert. Considerations. When ins installing rivet nuts into a workpiece, you always want to make sure that you have the stroke set. These tools have a considerable amount of power. They can install rivet nuts from 6 millimeter on up to 12 millimeter or 632 up to half inch. Therefore, you don't want to be breaking the mandrels, particularly the smaller mandrels. So double stroking the tool is not recommended. What a double stroke is, of course, is when you spin the, mand spin the rivet nut on the tool halfway, and because it, the stroke is not set properly, you try to restroke it again, then you end up using all the force and power of the tool against the mandrel because the stroke is not set exactly uh, proper to the uh, application that you're using. Therefore, you can potentially break your mandrels. So if done properly, expect a beautiful, perfect set every single time. Thank you.